Hi, Stream Elements friends. My name is Kara of God vs. Dumb. You can find me on the Stream Elements Discord if you have any questions. I'm also a Twitch broadcaster, Twitch partner. If you ever have any questions, you always come over there too. Basically, what I'm going to show you today is how to set up the overlay manager on Stream Elements. So right now, this video overlay that I have, the stream labels, the chat box, and the big cup, all count as part of the overlay. But if you're familiar as a streamer, you know it gets super cramped. You can't stream at conventions very well and you can't stream at your friend's house. If OBS ever updates, your stuff might be gone. Basically though, Stream Elements is cloud-based, 60 frames per second, it will always be there for you to stream at a convention. It's convenient and it saves a ton on CPU. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to set up a very simple overlay, nothing quite as complex as this. It'll be really simple and easy. Let's head over to the Stream Elements site. Below the dashboard, you have the overlay manager. These are some of the ones that I have set up already. And now the games don't really matter. That's up to you. If you want to play one for a specific game, you want to have a different overlay, you want to have a different setup. Maybe you're doing a charity stream, you need a different one. Let's make a new one for us today. So what's been popular recently on Twitch, Friday the 13th. We'll just pick one just for the memes of it. Test overlay, and you don't really need to put it. It's optional, it's fine. This, however, is important. You want to have it at a resolution that you're streaming to. So it's exactly the right size. Now here, we're gonna launch it later. So we don't need to do that just yet. We can edit it, we can trash it, or if you wanna make some duplicates and you don't have to test it over and over again, you can do duplicate right here. Let's go edit it. We don't have anything, it's transparent right now. We can add in some stuff. So if you don't wanna start from scratch, Stream Elements has some beautiful overlays for you already. Like the one that I was showing you that was mine. Um, that one, they helped me out to make. Also, um, you could just do it from scratch yourself. The first thing up here will be the alert box. Now, if you want it off to the side, that's fine. If you want to have it centered, you can do that really easily. You can change the size either by typing it in or by stretching it as you would so like. So if you want to center it, it's right here. You can have whatever alerts that you would like. If you want to have a follow alert on or off, you just have to click it on or off. You could also do a second one. If you want to add in another one to have a different one for followers in a different part of the page, that's fine too. So you would just click it and make a new one. But we'll just do it all under one. Let's go over here. We'll set it up a new one. You would go to change image. So for example, let's make the GVD follow stuff. We've got our little pigment over here. We're going to add a new sound. You can edit the volume however you like. So let's turn mine down a little smidge. You can have the text over the image, next to the image, or above the image. This would be the name of your follower. And you can have it say whatever you want. You can type it and edit it here. This is the amount of time. You can change the text and the color. You can also change the animation. And so that's all set. We'll save it. Now if you want to test it and see, um, what you're going to want to do is you would go and say emulate follower event. Welcome to the real Cat world. Is now following me. Sweet. This is a little big. That's fine. You can just stretch it to a different size. Also, if you want to have different variations, you can do that as well. You might want that on a stub event or a tip event. You can see they have different variations. Or you can go add that here. Let's go back to our tip alert. You would click on add a variation over here, add new variation. This would be if you want to have dank meme 420. So when you're doing it, it's 420. You want to have exactly 420. You want to have a cool little dank meme alert here. You change the image and select whatever you'd like. You click save, you have a new variation. And also, what is really important though, I'll show you how to do it in OBS, is you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a certain specific box unchecked. So remember that for later, I will tell you again. Now, also, if you wanna add in different things, you can add in maybe your latest follower, your latest subscriber, your total followers, total subs, all the shenanigans. So our latest follower was Rodmar. We can add in also, if we'd like, a tip goal, which if you want to have it a specific color, a specific size, you can just stretch it and change the colors. And also the change of the bar right here. Let's click Save. So it's a little basic thing going on. A little basic stuff. Uh, you could also add in ad widgets. And also something specific to Stream Elements is Capogen, which is basically an explosion of emotes. So if I want to have a, let's not do random, we'll do a bounce. So we'll have a bounce one. We'll put it in this corner. I can stretch it by either typing it or, or stretching it here. 
We'll click save. And in my chat, I'm going to go over here and type in GBW. A splooge. Perfect, right? So it looks awesome. Now we can save it. And then what we're going to do next when we're ready to put it in OBS or exploit, we're going to want to click on launch overlay. And that's going to give you, you don't see it because the other ones were white. That's transparent, right? We're going to click this cool snazzy little link, copy paste it. So we can close back, back out. And right now we're going to head on over to OBS. If you're using Exploit or a different broadcasting software, it's going to be the same principle. You're going to want to go over to add browser source, which is what we're using in stream elements. It's going to take what we did over there and through the link that we paste, it will bring all our work over to here. So 1920 by 1080 was our resolution, 60 frames per second. You want to delete this and very, very critically friends, you must have complete, you must click this button. Otherwise, it will repeat the sound in other scenes and it'll get an echo. So you don't want that. Again, click the button. It's simple. Just do it. Uh, so for me, mine is a little funny because it's mirroring. Um, it's also 1440. So it all stretches it out. Looks beautiful, sweet, lovely. If you want to test it, right? You're like, ah, oh, wow, that's weird. I don't know if I like it. I kind of want a little, you know, maybe closer to the edge. It's fine. You don't have to re-add the source. Just go into your overlay manager edit it, click save, it's cool. Also, for example, if you want to say, man, I don't know, do we think that maybe the follower is a little big? Um, if you want to test it, you can go to the event emulator and click event. Welcome to the real world. Emulate follower event and it'll show up right there for you. So we can see the position. If you want to change it again, you don't have to remake the alert, remake the, the source. Just go through, save it on stream elements and you're all set.